Hello, everybody, and happy Cinco de Mayo. I got a full slate today. As a matter of fact, I made a little uh, cheat sheet notes for myself so I don't forget anything. And not only do we have a lot here, I needed to add a 1A because I wanted to mention yesterday's video was a box break of 2014. Sorry, 2000. Sorry, 1994. I always do that. I get the year, the last number of the year right, but I get the decades wrong. 1994, Stadium Club, Series 2, The Search for Rich Bachelor. And I went through the whole box and I didn't find a Rich Bachelor or a um, first day issue. So while the video is uploading, I'm going through my stack and I, I found my first day issue. It was a John Franco and it was it was ruined with, with uh, paper loss. And then I found that I did pull a Rich Bachelor. So I went back and looked at the video. And I it was a backwards upside down card. And I was fumbling with the cards. And I called him like a different name or something. Anyway, I went back and edited the video. Um, just saying, yeah, there it is. And I, sure enough, I found it. And it was also totally ruined. But... Um, I'll get one eventually. Next time I do a sport lots order, I'll look for an extra one and get one without without paper loss. But you know, twenty bucks for a box like that—that that was well worth the entertainment for me. And I got some some TTM material, so it was worth it. Now, uh, just to update you where I'm at on shipping. Now, remember, I gave a prize or something to everyone who made a video, so that was thirteen, and then I had to mail out another two or three Hall of Fame lots. So I'm getting to it. I'm about a third of the way done, maybe a little over that. And by the end of the weekend, I hope to have everything totally out. So um, you may not see anything until the end of next week, probably in your mailbox. But I appreciate your patience on that. So the next thing, I was out doing some yard work today in the back. And came around into my garage, which I had left open to get something. And there's three little gift bags sitting there waiting for me. And turns out it's teacher appreciation week. And basically somebody in this school like adopts you and kind of spoils you during teacher week. Usually we're at school for this. So it's a little different where you'll find something in your inbox or in your office or, or whatever. But here I found these bags in my garage. And... The person, uh, usually like a poll is sent out, so they're not going in totally blind on on what you might like. And so, of course, I put that I liked, you know, baseball and gardening and things, which I can't believe I didn't mention in the five things about me video. I, I do lots of uh, flower growing, and somehow I didn't mention that. I struggled for things about myself, and that was a huge one because i really into my flowers. Uh, anyway, so they have some idea of what you want, so... Here, I just thought we'd go over them just for fun. Um, uh, first thing, uh, this is kind of fun. Light up bubble blower. Dolphin. Uh, and uh, let's see if I can show you here. Check it out. And I got a full, like a big bottle. And I'm hoping my dog will uh, try to pop the bubbles. I don't know. She's a lab. She probably don't want to... Probably won't want to, but uh, also a little bat and ball set. Pretty killer. Uh, what else? Oh. This is a big this is a big deal here. Not one, not two, not three. Oops, not three, but four bags of seeds, all different flavors. Standard, you got sizzle and bacon ranch and dill pickle and that was let me put those in the back actually one of my about you about me things and uh well i'm happy to get those and i also got some gladiolis which i know exactly where these are going to go uh, i like that i got two different colors and the grand prize as far as i'm concerned well, Frank Thomas starting lineup from 93 to no, 94. 
Starting lineups featuring some of the game's biggest players. You know what we're going to do with this? Cracking into it, baby. Free the Frank. Free the Frank. He's been stuck for almost 30 years. There he is. Look at that. Mighty follow through on that on that swing. And don't forget your card. These are, you know, PSAable. Attractive enough card. Big Frank. And go back. If you didn't get to really watch Frank Thomas play, or maybe you only remember him from the end of his career, go back and look at just like his first 10 years and ask yourself if a player had that career right now and they were on their you know 10th year or whatever, what, what, what would the market be on his cards? What would people be saying and what would they be buying? What would they be sending in to get graded or slabbed or whatever? That's Frank Thomas. Man, you look at those first 10 years, like Frank Thomas and Griffey and Trout, you know, they had that beginning of the career that is just insane numbers. And I love me some Mike Trout. Okay, up to number three on my little uh, reminder list here. Uh, it says unsigned. So that means I'm supposed to share my Sport Lots order with you. And I'm very happy to get in some Rocky Blyer cards. And I went one vintage and one new because I thought that would look great signed. And that's going to go out tomorrow. Happy to get that. And let me just knock my stands everywhere. And there he is in the 79 AFC Championship game where the Steelers beat the Oilers. I'm not going to convince you I had that memorized. It's written on the bottom of the card. And I got a, st a couple stadium clubs in uh, that I didn't have that eventually I'll be TTMing. There's a the Wade Boggs. And I don't have anything out to Will Clark right now. And eventually I'll be doing that stadium club run of his. I do have two or three already. Okay, sign stuff. So, this was more Kevin B. from Facebook. He runs the Facebook group Vintage Baseball Photos. He posts stuff all the time for like a buck. These were a buck each. And I started out with just the stadium clubs. And he said, well, you're doing less than five, so they charge you a buck for shipping. Okay, that's fine. I'm like, wait a minute. For another dollar, I can get two more cards. Let me just do that. So, because once you get to five, he does the shipping. So I got this um, 2000 Chrome. Corey Myers, who does not sign at all. You can't find, you, you can't get that card. Greg Harris pulled this yesterday uh, several times, but not really signing right now from what I can tell. Anthony Telford on a 92. That's nice. And then um, Jamie Bubella, who was on the Mariners for 45 seconds. Paul McAnulty, I'm not even really sure about what his career looked like. But some nice Tufts heritage. Why not, right? Basically, you know, a buck a buck each. So, okay, we've got Atlanta Metro, Cleveland, Ohio, and an un, un, uncancelled, so mystery... I think we'll save that for last. I like a little mystery because I have some idea on the on who these two are. So here we go. We're starting with Cleveland. And one day remind me to tell you my story about Cleveland and why my dad calls it Cleveland. I don't know if it's a good story, but it's a story. Andre Thornton on an 86 Donruss. I'm gonna put that uh we'll put that in the giveaway stack for next month. 94 Donruss and an 81 Tops. I'm not going to reach back there to put the Thornton with the other cards right now because it's way back. It's right there. And I'm going to knock something over. So that'll go with the Mike Easler and the other cards that are back there for May with a May giveaway. So who sides care of Atlanta that you can send basically any amount of cards to? Slugger in the 90s, um, for mostly for the Braves. Heck of a guy from what I know. Mr. Oh, I was fooled. 
I just got Boggs. I thought for sure it was going to be um, Ron Gant, but I forgot that I also sent to Cameron, who lives in Georgia, and uh, I'm really happy to get these back. A lot of stadium club cards here, and uh, Mike Cameron was one of my probably favorite Mariners in the early 2000s. He has given an impossible job to take over for a legend, and at least defensively, I think I think he was probably better than Griffey defensively, to be honest with you. Had a four-home run game, uh, of course, kind of famously. Uh, at the time, he was the first player to do that in, in quite a while. And uh, cool guy. So started out with the uh, – started out as a red. Right. These are in order. And then he got traded for Paul Konerko. He was a white suck. There he is as a white suck. And then he was traded for Ken Griffey Jr. Very nice. I love that 2000 Stadium Club. And then he bounced around. He went to Boston and a couple other cities before he retired. Another Stadium Club. And between... Uh, oh, and here's the uh, Chrome Refractor that I got as basically a throw-in off of eBay a couple weeks ago. That might be my favorite favorite card of the day so far we'll put you in front of that one okay the mystery hmm well i don't really have any guess it feels like one or two cards i do have a hall of famer out let's check it out here we'll do this together if you ever watch jupiter sailfish he does a slow reveal oh it's a 76 there's two cards let me see here. 76. Oh, I know who it is because I remember seeing these two cards. A great knuckler. You can see his autograph in the background there. Pretty much in the top center of the screen now. Mr. Wilbur Wood. So he kind of goes back and forth between signing and charging and personalized and not signing and, and all this. And I hit a window now where he's signing but personalizing, which I'm, it's totally cool. Man, I love these 70s uh, home white socks jerseys with the red pinstripes. Uh, it's just never never been duplicated, really. I, I think it's awesome. And then here he is on a 72 tops leaders card with Vita Blue and Jim Palmer. Very happy to get those. Uh, really good day. Man, how much stuff did I get in? A ton. And I got sunflower seeds and a big hurt. Well, I'm not hurting right now for more autographs, but hopefully we'll see you tomorrow or Thursday with some more. Over and out.